If you followed my channel for any length of time, you may remember when I installed the 67 reverse lights on our 68 Beetle. I've always liked this look, but I'm not a fan of the pre-68 bumpers. The lights are functional and they are a direct mount to the bumper brackets. Now it's time to take it one step further. It's time to replace these tail lights. With these tail lights. After doing a lot of research, measuring and comparing 67 fenders with 68 fenders, I think I figured out exactly where the 67 tail light housing needs to mount. I'll make this drawing available to download from our website. Link will be in the description. I'll only proceed with this modification if I'm able to do it and not have to modify the fender to the point that I can't revert back to the 68 tail lights easily. Since the housings for the 67 tail lights will need to be painted, I placed an order with AutomotiveTouchUp.com for a 12 ounce spray can of touch-up paint. All I had to do was to provide the paint code. Cost for the 12 ounce can, plus shipping, was $35.72. I'll leave a link in the description. The tail light assemblies and seals were ordered from J-Bugs. I've always had good luck with their products in the past. The cost for each tail light assembly was $61.95. The cost for the housing seals was $10. All in, I'll have less than $200 in this little project. Again, I'll leave a link in the description. I wasn't expecting these to arrive so quickly, but sure enough, they arrived in two days. Time to do a box opening. I must say, I'm very pleased with the quality of these tail lights. Too bad my beetle isn't white. It'll be a few days before the paint that I ordered arrives, but since there's nothing else going on today, I don't see why we can't get this project started. I'll start on the driver's side by first removing the lens. Next I'll remove the housing for the bulbs. Be sure to take note of which wire goes where. It never hurts to take a photo to help keep track of your wiring. When I'm finished, this blue wire will be taped up because I won't be using it. I'm pulling power for the reverse lights from the passenger side, I'll show you how I do that in just a bit. Be careful not to break your wiring connectors while removing them. They can be a little tough to pull off. Don't worry about the outline left from the seal of the 68 taillights, I'll remove it with some blast cleaner a little later. The housing for the 68 taillight was removed by removing the two 5 16th nuts from inside of the fender. I'll use this painter's tape to mask a line from the center of the top mounting hole, past the center of the bottom mounting hole. I'll measure 3 inches down from the original top mounting hole and 1 and a half inches down from the original bottom mounting hole. These will be the locations for the new mounting holes for the 67 tail lights. Check, check and double check your measurements before drilling the new holes. Luckily, if I ever want to revert back to the 68 tail lights, the new holes for the 67 tail lights will be hidden. I'll drill a pilot hole with a 1 8 inch bit, then drill the final hole with a quarter inch bit.
Now a quick test fit and you can see just how much smaller the 67 tail lights are. And now, I'll do a test fit with the housing and the seal. The seal can be a little tricky to get on, just take your time. And now, with the lens. So far, I'm really happy with how things are looking. I can't wait to get the housings painted and everything connected. Now I repeat the same process on the passenger side. The only difference is with the wiring. As you can see in this picture, the brown wire, which is dueled with the black brake light wire, powers my third tail light that is mounted to the bumper bracket. This black wire is dueled with the blue reverse light wire and it powers my 67 reverse lights. When I'm finished, these two will be connected together. Now I'll barrel the original reverse light wire with the 67 reverse lights. If you aren't subscribed to our channel yet, please take a moment to do so. For now, this is as far as I can go until the spray paint that I ordered arrives. Hopefully, it'll be here soon. When it arrives, I'll scuff the new housings with 800 grit sandpaper, give the housings a couple generous coats of paint, let them cure and then a good buffing. But so far, I'm very, very pleased with how this looks and I'm glad that I finally got around to doing it. So, last night I get an email from AutomotiveTouchUp.com indicating that due to supply chain issues, my order for the Zenith Blue Spray Paint may be delayed. Therefore, I decided to press on and make all necessary connections to the new lights so I can drive the Beetle. I didn't want this to be a two-part video, but it looks like it's going to be. I'll reuse the bulbs from the 68 tail lights, so I'll clean the posts with some 400 grit sandpaper to ensure good contact. Installing these bulbs in the new sockets took some effort and some choice words that I've edited out. I ended up discovering that a little Vaseline around the inside of the socket aided with the installation of the bulbs. With the bulbs installed, I'll reattach the lens and move on to the passenger side. One thing that I forgot to mention or record is what I did with the existing mounting holes for the 68 tail lights. I used butyl sealant tape to fill the holes. Butyl is used to seal windshields, body panel seams and many other things. It never hardens and can be removed easily. It's a great sealer and I used just a pinch to fill in the holes. So for now, we'll call this part of the project complete. I'm very happy with the results and the look. It's exactly what I was going for.
When the paint arrives, I'll do a follow-up video of the housings getting painted. Hopefully we won't have to wait too long. Now, the only thing left to do is test these new lights. Awesome! It looks like everything is working perfectly. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and discovered some useful tips. I know that this mod isn't for everybody and some purist won't like what I've done. But that's okay, it's my beetle and I'll do what I want with it. You do what you want to do with your beetle, no matter what anybody says. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up, we'd certainly appreciate it. We're always into some kind of project, so please be sure to subscribe to our channel and if you'd like to throw us a bone for our efforts, we'd certainly appreciate that as well. Take care and look for a new video soon.